I'm off the west coast of Wales with the Dolphin Detectives. Yeah, right under us, right under us, right under us, right under us. Well, this is Cardigan Bay, 70 miles along here, and it has Europe's largest population of bottlenose dolphins. Around 250 animals live around here, and scientists don't really understand why. For years, they've been tracking individuals, looking at the dorsal fins on their back, looking at the markings to identify individuals. We think there were six in total, four adults, one juvenile and one car. They can find out who's hanging out with who and where in the bay, and they know there are hot spots that are really important. But it only tells them so much because they can only see them when they come up to breathe or to play. Now they're using DNA techniques to understand more. They are collecting poo from the dolphins. Apparently it looks like the insides of a snow globe. They catch that, they filter that, they take that back to the lab uh, and they can then actually extract their DNA to build up a profile of individuals to understand their, their sex and how they're related to each other. It also helps them to understand what they're eating and that's really important if you're trying to conserve a population. At the moment there are about 250 individuals but the thinking is that is in decline. Now they don't know whether that's a, a natural cycle or because they've been disturbed in some way, perhaps by human activity. Building up this understanding of what was going on below the waves, what they're eating, what's important to them, could help the long-term success of this population.